Oh, sorry. Oh, bro, I completely forgot blue. I totally forgot this mouth. Okay, what's up, blue? Sorry, I didn't see your message. <laughs> Put in something about being tired? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'll put something- I'll put something being tired. About, about me being tired. <laughs> Where is it? Let's try this. <laughs> hmm. Four hour stream, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a duplicate for the bottom part. Is Blue is Blue Rose still here? Hold on. Blue, are you here? I totally forgot about this section here. If you're still here, please respond, Blue. I, don't worry, I can see your guys' chat even if I'm not on that page. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hey, how are you doing? this but at the same time I always say this hey Bobuns welcome to the stream how you doing oh gosh I just said it again I swear this is like my work brain at work welcome guys welcome welcome Sleep, I'm fine. Go to sleep. Ah, oh, true, true, true. I'm gonna do that right now. Where is it?
<laughs> True. There you go. I think this sums it up. This is go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, Mel. Nope, I'm fine, Chet. Falls asleep on stream. <laughs> an idea. Young girls, welcome to the stream. <laughs> See your friend just vibing. <laughs> this is an anti Maki establishment. Maki. Just do the image as well, just for giggles. <laughs> mm. Let me check. I think these things are getting pretty stacked up. Go to sleep, Mel. Nope, I'm fine, chat. <laughs> Falls asleep on stream. Turns off mic. Ah. This is an anti monkey step. <laughs> this guy can't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> Let me find Randy. It feels so weird looking up an actual photo of this guy. Actually me. <laughs> cause, this, Cause this actually suits it really well. I'm gonna save this for later. Fussy from a made-up country. What? Your own, your audio only? Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> if only you could see what what I'm putting on right now. It's hilarious. I'm making like a whole template. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what did Mouse say? A coffee from a made-up country. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Let's see.
from a made up country. What else can I fit in here? <laughs> Damn it. Sniffle noises. Should I just do sniff? <laughs> just sniff. Sounds about the right way to do it. Oh, it's over. Okay, um... Yeah, I'll replay it again. Black screen. Work, mouse clicking, sniff, sniff, ASMR. It sounds like your usual afternoon. Or at least my usual afternoon. I think I'll make it bigger. Just to, you know, show that it it's a thing that happens a lot. Almost as much as Melosi BF. What's these in it? Sniff. Let's try this. Malo sniff. Oh my gosh. That's what I that's what I can't remember what I was gonna put here. Malo sniff. Yep, sounds about right. Sniff. <laughs> ouch, guys, ouch. Where's my low sniff? There it is. <laughs> I'll try to do that too. Nice. Amazing. That looks beautiful. <laughs> looks pretty stacked. <laughs> Damn, it's a shame. Where's where, where? What's this one? Oh, there. Oh, 
Thank you for the likes, coffee. <laughs> oh, you can see Marky and Varios. I like Marky and Vario. I like when we love each other. Things on their period. Bow buns. More art. More art. Uh, citra, citra, citra. Let's go look at my post, see if there's anything. Oh, I just got something funny. <laughs> I just kind of came up with something funny. Let's... <laughs> yeah, I end up retweet- I end up- I end up retweeting it. <laughs> change this one. <clears throat> oh yeah, if you look up Bow Buns on Twitter, you should be able to find her stuff. She just started her August commission, so like guys, feel free to have a look. Hello Dream. What? Oh, Dream. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I know what you mean. Hmm? Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, Popons. It's just a thing I do whenever someone, like, kind of, kind of, like, or oh, whenever I see something that, like, you know, that a friend or, or something is, like, kind of doing, like, commissions or something, I just, it, I guess it's just my work brain. I just immediately start advertising them. <laughs> Plus, it kind of, like, gets more eyes on, like, what they do. <clears throat> it's funny because I do that with um, freaking Maki or Leah whenever they come onto stream and I'm just like oh yeah check out their stuff even though they've got like more subs and followers than me. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's nothing bow buns. It's, ju it's just what I do. I just do it on instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just a guy, just a guy, who occasionally, who occasionally simps, oh, wait, well, he simps a lot, but he doesn't, like, simp, life, <laughs> what, nah, you don't have to doodle me, bow buns, you do not have to doodle me, it's totally okay. Pop it in the stream, that's that's enough for me. That's totally enough for me, just being here. <laughs> yes, I will. Ah, Ah, shit, okay. <laughs> you got me. Still BFF. Yeah, still good friends, yeah. It's like a rise, it's like a double, double rise, we're both rising. Which is pretty, which will be pretty chill, not gonna lie. Sugar. Yeah, I like sugar. You were so patient with me when I had so much delays for the calm. You're the best, you're not just some guy. True. I mean, no, not true. I mean, yeah, true, true, true. I mean, yeah, it's sort of, yeah, you're, you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Speaking of which, when I make like a part two of that, um, the Masked Crusader audio, 
for sure I'm gonna use your art as the thumbnail for it. <laughs> new series, oh, new series I debuted tonight is Tenken, but I don't care, I'm psyched about it. Besides, none of my original content does well. Ayo, same mal, same mal. <laughs> Legit. The, uh, the boyfriend audio I did. The boyfriend audio I did with the gaming. I was in love with that one so much. Where is it? Uh, this one. It's it's such a it's such a favorite of mine. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just look up. Uh this one. Let's just mute this for a second. Cause this is actually where I got the Do you guys know that thumbnail in the background? Let me show you. Um Sorry, you guys are about to see me get exposed on this. <laughs> I guess that's just how it is sometimes, eh? Like, <laughs> yeah, just like, same, same crew, same crew, <laughs> tanked audios. <laughs> so, random thing. Do you guys see that, um, that thing in the background? Just there? That's actually a screenshot. <laughs> I actually got it from a funny clip from one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'll wait for that for a bit. Good vibes, good vibes. Actually, I don't know if I want to play it. Probably not on stream. Yeah, 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 oh god, oh god, you that's guys are terrible explanation. Yeah, yeah, that's... That was the clip. And it was a very good clip too. This entire audio... It's so good, I love it. Definitely a favorite of mine, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me just put this back in the corner. <laughs> very very relaxing and also very charming I've, I, I've never been that charmed by myself in a long time I don't think I could, it was possible. I don't think it was possible for me to ever be charmed by myself. And yet, I'd say I was the most genuine in that audio. I really did, when the way I spoke in that audio, it was like I was actually with someone. <laughs> like I was actually with a person just having a good time. <laughs> It was pretty heartwarming, really. I hope more people check that one out. It's definitely a fan favorite. I think the biggest challenge for my video I had to look up online guitar simulator. <laughs> I feel that very much. Oh, thanks, Mel. I'm, I'm glad you like it. That one, it was that the entire script, Mel, it was scuffed. It was like I had no script. I only had like a bullet point of like what to do. I think it's here actually in my Google Docs. Oh, you yeah, here. This was the script I had for that one here. This was the script. So, um, so, uh, you can see that, um, 
ASMR sitting on your boyfriend's lap while he's gaming. Uh, I just had like a bunch of bullet points that I would kind of go with and... Yeah, this is what I, this is what I kind of wrote for myself. You're playing a funny game and your girlfriend comes and sits on your lap. And I kind of send like a small message for myself saying roll with it dude like... If anything kind of changes, just who cares, just kind of keep going and just keep making new stuff. <laughs> it really, <laughs> it really is in every game, yeah. Improv was always my least good skill when studying theatre. Man, it's a good thing I kind of went into those games on like video games and stuff where it's like you could create your own character and follow your own path. A lot of times I'd be kind of imagining myself as a whole new person going through the story. I think I'd be pretty good at Dungeons and Dragons as I can just kind of hold on to this character for as long as I wish. And then, you know, kind of go from there. I guess that's why I find it, find improv to kind of be easy, but also a bit iffy. Like, yeah, just easy in general, yeah. And number three, yeah, you die a lot. It really, it really does happen, yeah. Chatting while gaming with your bros, she sits on your lap, <laughs> you die a lot, you slowly give up on the game, you happily let it go, and the cuddle noises to girlfriend. I kind of just followed these guidelines for it. And that's how I did that. Ah yeah, this this will be the bullet points that I'm doing. Oh, D and D is so much fun. Yeah, I don't mind trying D and D one of these days. Wakes up all tired and angry. Attic annoyed but stuck. Tries to recount everything. Listen to buying this item. Freaking out. Without waking the listener up. Thinks about what the crew will think. Listener wakes up. Uh, as he gets changed. Awkward love, awkward moments, and they both kind of feel feelings, question mark. They both leave, and there you go. And that's, that's just how that's going to go. Yeah, me too. I miss, I miss playing D&D. Level loyalty, bruiser weight. Kami, I'm coming home. Just a boy, my brave little idiot. What other ones do I have here? King of Leo Leo. Ah, yes. I remember these. These are like my old um, character profiles. I'm doing a girlfriend cuddling audio. I finished the script and thumbnail. Just need to record and edit. Yeah, that's really nice, honestly. <laughs> I can't wait to see how that goes. I, I'll probably retweet it in that one, you know. I miss D&D, but my DM divorced me. Oof. That would leave a big impression, a little, like a bad impression on you. I'm curious. Let's have a look. Huh. Oh my gosh, it's the original Klein Tofa. Let's have a look at this character profile that I made a while back, a very while back. Oof, I'm, I'm sorry to hear, Mal, that happened to you. Oh, ah, uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I, th I thought you actually got divorced. I was like, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm, so, I'm actually like legitimately sorry. Horror design because I'm lazy. I gotta cut down the hair and make him Japanese. I've 
Japanese Samon Nascent, Sun climbed to fire travel to another world, rising the ranks of the world's adventuring guild before becoming a diplomat. Years later, his age was restored by an outside force, and he was brought back to the present world. Because of the suffering he had endured and those faces he would forget, forget he traveled across the world, eventually settled down in a small town named Toshin, but his crime rates began to rise. Klein knew he couldn't sell everything he's been through. Taking up his old gear and armor, Klein settled into a bodyguard business on the side. Want to know the name? Aloysius Security. Wow. Being single is way better. Yeah, I can understand, yeah. I had like a whole character profile for this guy. His face would look like this, wear this, and that was him in the past. Even though that's how wrong, this is just fan art of someone, and this is basically Dante. <laughs> Having returned after months of going missing, Klein was taken to cu into custody once again by his family after a huge influx of mana in his final fight that caused suspicion of the OIA our intelligence out alliance and modded him from that point on. Now more distant from his family, after explaining the whole story, Klein moves to the rural town of Toshin in the hopes of starting anew while under the eyes of the OIA. Sorry guys. Long time ago. No worries, no worries. Alter. I swear I had like a whole file of the Outer Intelligence Agency. I'll probably move that to a new tab. The OIA has to be somewhere around here. Adventures Apothecary. That's the one I did with them. Ah, uh, Cookie VA. That, that one was pretty fun. There's a script I was planning to make for Cinnamon's Calm Corner. Uh, there's the Pirate King. I'm gonna open that in a new tab to read to show you guys later. Where is it? Trying to find it. Questionnaire. G. Sleep. Diaries of Aloysius, Mind of M. <laughs> to an Aloysius, acrostic poem. Seven Sea Land Platoon, Statement. Tosha, there you go, this is the one I was looking for. <laughs> the Foundation of Outer Intelligence. This was some, this was me at like my Adventures Apothecary. Yes, it was very much inspired by. Uh, Moshi ASMR, sorry, where is it, it was, it was very much inspired by, um, where is it, where is it, it's somewhere here, no, 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 Ah, uh, here. It was very much inspired by, um, it was very much inspired by this one. You're about to see in a second. Come on, I mean, I will, to be fair, Mal, the Brit spelling kind of goes into Australia as well. Yeah, Mistle Pixel ASMR. My audio that I did with, um, with, uh, sorry, with, um, Cookie VA was very much inspired by these guys. Amazing audio for sure. They, these guys, Mystical Pixel. Shoutouts to her. I haven't seen her upload anything in a while. But for sure, she. Amazing, amazing audios. Amazing audios. I remember watching her Water Nymph one like years ago. <laughs> It was pretty enjoyable. It really was. You know, we could do a, like, reacting to ASMR sometime. That would be pretty fun, not gonna lie. Hmm. Oh, just gonna go down another one. 
Yep. Yeah, no. No. Eh, I'm just gonna keep that here. Yeah, penguin. Everyone loves penguin. <laughs> I don't know why Google does not like the Brit spelling. Well, let's go from there. Established after the FOIA, or should I call it the OIA, the Foundation of Outer Intelligence. It's a conglomerate of many organizations from diverse backgrounds in science. Established after the Six Heroes incident, the organization was formed by its founding members as information regarding the organization dates back to the early 1700s. In its beginning stages, those founding members quickly began developing countermeasures to the cataclysmic threat that befell planet Earth all those years ago. Andre Lucet founding members, factory worker made ground soldier, Widowed factory member made tutor and special advisor. Isamu Sora, Johanna Faust, high school girl made special advisor, world scroll of magic. Amir Hol Holbert, police investigator made journalist. Ah, oh, man, Mal. Oh, hey. Leah, welcome to the stream. Also, yeah, you're, you're a moderator. I forgot to say, yeah, you're a moderator now. <laughs> also, let's see. Nice. But yeah, um, I had a, I had like a whole story. I I had written up a whole backstory of these guys. Cause you know how there's like isekais, right? Where characters are sent to other worlds. I basically, I I, I made. <laughs> I made an isekai story, which transitioned to, which transitions to another is. What's I'm sorry, an isekai story, which basically is the setup for another isekai story, which is the setup for a supernatural story. <laughs> it's crazy. It really is. I was so knee deep. I was knee deep in uh, isekai stories. That I, that I just had to make like a whole a whole trilogy of it because um, there'd be the two the, the isekai story about two brothers then there'd be a prequel with these guys and then after that there'll be a sequel um, centering around one of the brothers James Ramirez Ramirez my ground soldier High school boy made chosen one. The tactician is just un, just a mage from that actual world. The organization had set up secret research institutions in the late 1700s all across the world, establishing and enforcing laws that forbid the use of mage, magecraft and other known forms of ancient knowledge. This was done in order to keep its development non-existent to the public and lower the risk of future threats emerging from their organization. Based on textbooks recovered over the years, they were responsible for locating and containing individuals, entities, locations, and objects that violate natural law. In 1775, the organization soon vanished into obscurity, i.e. the burning of Foss Library in 1774. In 1800s, they were a site of mysteriously suited figures leaving the country, Hundreds of civilians had joined them on several ships. In the early 1900s, they resurfaced as many organizations ac across the world came together to form the FOI. It has become a powerhouse in business now remaining in Australia. A. In the mid to ne late 1900s, the FOI formed a secret. Secret. Hold on. Even my cat is all calm listening to you. Wait, re wait, really? Can you make a recording of yourself just reading all of these? Oh, wait, really? Yeah, I don't mind doing that, actually. <laughs> Sounds like the Aussie version of the SCP Foundation. You know, Coffee, you're actually right. <laughs> it is kind of like the SCP Foundation. Because, um... Way back when, do you know how 
in ISIC. Do you know how um, an ICP foundation is like those those instances that can't really be stopped? Um, I wouldn't say it's a safe one. It's a nucleid or something. Nuclear or nucleid? Euclid, Euclid. This is basically one of those situations where one issue kind of sets up an entire organization where they're always monitoring all across the world whether or not someone's going to be isekai here or someone's going to be isekai there. They will look into deaths surrounding basically possible isekais. Like for example, someone rescues someone from getting a, hit by a truck. Someone dies by getting pushed into a train. <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. Welcome, Ryder. Welcome. Also, Mal, I'm so glad your cat is like very relaxed by my voice. Not gonna lie, I'm just kind of reading it because I'm like interested in my past self, which is kind of cool. I'll go back. Also, Ryder, welcome to the stream, bro. How are you doing? Let's go back to this. In the, mid to late, in the mid to late 1900s, the FOI formed a secret organization and acted similarly to an intelligence agency or investigative bureau engaging in reconnaissance and espionage or even black ops, including kidnappings and assassinations on behalf of the conglomerate. They are also known for scouting for potential candidates to join. The O-bound are consummate professionals adhering to the mission no matter what. Due to the nature of their job, members are privy to numer numerous company secrets and such become security risks should they resign. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say. B.O. bound. <laughs> the group owned by the FOI. There you go, sorry. Forgot to do that. Just the usual Raidusi stuff. Yeah, yeah. Raidusi, Raidusi, Raidusi. <laughs> the Obound where Blacks... Oh yeah, Obound. It's it's a name I made up with all of these guys. Let's actually look at what Obound means. There you go. Basically, it was basically a kind of similar to abound, which means exists in large numbers or amounts, and then outbound, outbound was traveling away. So they are a organization, a small like group of individuals who exist in large numbers, and they travel all across the world on behalf of the organization. So yeah, wordplay. Wordplay is nice. Wordplay. <laughs> Hold on. Word wordplay is amazing. Great job, great job, past Melosi. You are very ambitious. The old bound wear black business suits. The standard uniform is a unisex business suit with matching tie, white shirt, and shoes. Gloves are allowed, as well as glasses and minor jewelry. Some members leave the suit jacket and shirt unbuttoned, omit the tie, or alternate the type of footwear from the basic black boot to one more to their liking. Unlike the Shinra military, da -da 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 -da. just gonna copy that down. <laughs> That's a copy paste I just did there. Oh. Interesting. I remember taking that photo, that was a while back. And, huh. Hmm. Let me just... Oh nine, oh eight, twenty twenty two. 08, 2022. Just imagine. Coming back.
when they return. There you go. So yeah, that was that was an interesting that was an interesting raid, not gonna lie. I have entire character files. I would love to read all of these, not gonna lie. Actually, let's go let's go to Oh that's a script. Oh. <laughs> uh let's go to Merlin. Oh gosh, I love Merlin. Merlin was I, I used to make like a whole notes. This was supposed to be a kind of spin-off story of the of like a isekai story I was doing. It was about this one where it's basically notes written by a specific mage that came across the two brothers who were from our world. <laughs> and she would kind of note down um, their antics and just everything. Who is Merlin? Bennett Merlin, a young journalist with a keen eye and is a truth seeker. She has many connections to the underground network and is well known as an inquisitive individual. Despite being mistaken as a man, she is actually a lady and works for an unknown journalism company. Using tips and dealing with acquaintances, Bennett travels from place to place studying many forms of media. She has recently discovered an individual under watch from police investigators, one that is, one that is connected to an another unusual incident. Described as inhuman, Bennett it piques Bennett's interest as she takes a train to Toshin. Ooh, Toshin? Alamel, <laughs> Mel, we can pog in the actual chat it came from. Wait, really? Yeah, let me... <laughs> that pog champ looks amazing. It really does. Merlin notes number one. So after years of magical research, a few close calls with the police and a strange suited man trying to capture me. I finally found a lead on Vortex Worlds. Demons, monsters, despite what rumors say, they've been freed for almost a year now. People go on hunting jobs for money. It started off as a ragtag group of mercs, turning into a worldwide black market of hiring hunters of a variety in an underground network called the Tavern. Now here I am talking to this hunter from a small town, rambling on about how he almost died one night during one of his excursions. Being the nosy journalist I am, I decided to eavesdrop on the guy while he talks to his friends. Turns out he was saved by some vigilante wearing a mask and hood, using only a baseball for his weapon. Which is this guy here, our main character. Normally I'd brush it off, but one thing he said caught my ears. He said that the stranger was waving his hands around as electricity began to burst from his fingertips. That's when I realized this is the same place a young male was being investigated in. That's why tonight I'm taking the next train to Toshin. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, no. <laughs> Everyone's poggers in chat. <laughs> and that's a dinosaur too, I think. Is that a dinosaur or is that a lizard? <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that that's an iguana, so that's like Australian, so. <laughs> Everyone's like. <gasps> poggers. <laughs> Era. <laughs> <laughs> I remember last stream, I was streaming Minecraft with a writer and we were rapping about The Rock, The Rock's rap, uh, with the other rappers, Face Off. And we just kept saying, arr, arr, the entire stream. As soon as, like, I said it, <laughs> we just, every, like, um, every, like, two minutes, yeah, just, arr, arr. <laughs> it was hilarious. Seriously, just be like, oh, oh. <laughs> it was great. It, it was, it was great. It was great. <laughs> good vibes. Good vibes. Oh man, I have so many notes. Merlin notes number two. Heading into town. Hold on. 
that must have been definitely not been annoying <laughs> if you if you watch if you're watching the stream it probably would be but like me and Ryder were like vibing so hard I felt bad for Connor because he was the only one in chat <laughs> hitting a <t> <sighs> Heading into town, I knew it wouldn't be easy fighting this so-called guardian. A young man with olive skin, wearing a mixture of robes and armor, running around Yuoshi City. It being my first time there, I needed to find my way around. Luckily, some guy was nice enough to give me directions. Who would have thought that stranger was the man I was looking for? I could tell just by looking at the young man that he had been through a lot. He may have been smiling and patient with my ramblings, but his, eye, but his eyes showed so much pain. He even invited me, a stranger, into his home because the hotel room I ordered was cancelled for unknown reasons. I was skeptical, of course, but I'd rather follow this young man with a gentle aura than stay on the streets. But hey, at least I got to know him better during our drive back to his humble abode. Whenever I asked him about his heartwarming aura surrounding him, he went into an immediate panic. Whether it was surprise or some sort of PTSD, I soon found a crossbow pointed right at my face. <laughs> oh gosh. Hold on, let me... Some guy who was standing on the corner, minding his own business. Yeah, that, that do be how it is, you know? <laughs> he was just sitting on the side. Eating, eating a sandwich by the train station. It makes sense after the client told me. He was clearly shaken by the experience so much that he gained. He, he had to give up something important to him. But even then, he had his honor. Days would go by and I would soon leave his house, but I wanted to learn more. Even after such a sensitive topic, we both ended up having tea, tea together discussing my journey. At first, I began visiting him because I wanted information regarding it, but over time, things slowly started to develop into something of a mutual bond. Then, one night, while sitting together, Klein told me everything. Huh. Wow. Just the rest, I just kinda... Huh. Crazy. Just... Mm. Oh! crazy I had like a whole story in that sit up here oh you gotta go coffee no worries good night coffee thank you so much for coming in I hope you sleep well tonight take care oh yeah you you all gotta go sleep <laughs> you all need your rest <sighs> His character files here too. And to think I'm supposed to be drawing. Oh, hold on, let me let, let me finish. Let me download this and I'll upload it onto Twitter. Hey question, what should I change the what to? This one. What should I change this one here to? That one. I wanna. Sh I wanna be sure that this last one will be pretty funny. Oh my gosh, that's genius. <laughs> Just have this whole right side. It's not a simp. Made the schedule. Looking at you. Hello there. 
only listens to video game music. <laughs> Actually, I'll change this one. It's like, yeah, I listen to hip hop. <laughs> Yeah, I listen to yeah, I listen to music. <laughs> uh, yeah, I listen to hip hop. Let's see. I think this sums it up perfectly. It's like, yeah, I listen to music. Sounds about right. I think, I think this is it. Malosi, Malosimp is too simple. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Alright. We'll read just a bit more, then I'll send you guys off to sleep. Because it is, it is pretty late. I just finished it, so I'll read you guys some stuff to kind of send you all off to sleep, you know? Okay, let's, let's have a quick go at this. Client Tofa owns an independent security business, the only worker being himself as he travels to and from Tosha. Toshin. He's very kind and even somewhat selfless, despite, despite what others will tell you. It's just that he's very confident in his fighting ability. Rumors speculate that the guy was banned from a nearby gym because he beat the champions there. People have said the fight wasn't even close. Other than that, we don't really know much about him. From what the bakery, bakery lady, lady said, he's actually self-taught and has travelled all the way from Australia. Maybe he just doesn't like to talk about himself. Ah. <laughs> his fists colliding with synthetic thread, Clyde kept the pressure as he continued his assault. The punching bag stood no chance, even as his punches picked up speed, his brows furrowing. Jabs turned to hooks, hooks turned to uppercuts, and the cycle continued. Until the sound of his home line rang out, as his training had to be cut short. Dropping his hands, Klein wobbled over to the phone line on a nearby table, Reaching his hands down, he hesitated, his body shaking as sweat dripped down from his body. Blink. Aloysius Services, how can I help you? <laughs> Hi, I'm calling to Klein about your services. What could be heard was practically shouting as Klein reeled the phone back from his ear. It was a lady, but she was far too loud as he put the phone back. You can close the pick of mine too. Oh yeah, 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 sorry. It is a, it is a good pick, it is a good pick. <laughs> As soon as this stream ends, I'm so gonna, like, just upload it to, upload mine to. From the sign outside, it says you're available on all days except Saturday, right? Client sat back on his chair, rubbing his ears as he went to respond. Why, yes, I'm usually busy during the weekends with my personal life. Client said, wiping his face with the towel as he hummed it in response. I see, what time does your Zoom do? I've heard, I've heard that you even work on the weekends depending on the circumstances. I do, but it depends if you're willing to pay extra, Clyde said. His arms crossed as he looked outside. 
The news said it was going to rain tomorrow, not the kind of day he'd want to spend doing his job. There was a few seconds of silence between Klein and the phone before the lady spoke up again. Okay, uh, okay, I'm outside your address so I'd like to explain in person. <laughs> before Klein could ask why she was outside, the lady had already hung up on him. Klein felt a bit of tension, turning his head to look outside his garage to see her. <laughs> he was literally just like his garage was open. He was just training and the girl, the lady that called him, she was right outside. Like just right outside his garage. And instead of approaching him, she just called him like while she was there. It was, it was funny. I can just imagine that he's like, wait, what are you doing out there? Cafe security. How many of you guys are still here? I want to send you guys off to sleep now. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing it's Mel, Coffee, sorry, Mel, Ryder, and probably, probably Bowbuns. I think you're all here, yeah. Yeah, you're still here, yeah. Roll call, roll call, is anyone who's here? <laughs> Just have a quick look, you know. Can I go create a mode on my phone? Just to see see what, uh, what what the difference is between this one here and the other one create a mode there we go stream manager <laughs> cafe security Klein was gonna be honest it was a weird idea especially since he barely knew anybody in that part of Toshin giving the lady a weird look she brought out a few papers for him to see his eyebrows furrowed as he realized those weren't just safe papers to sign. Photos? He was right. And not just any kind of photos. It was security footage, with frames depicting several masked figures attempting to break into the cafe building. Klein was perplexed as to why they'd want to do it, thinking there'd be nothing valuable by night. Yes, a work camera spotted them vandalizing the premises almost every night, she said bringing out photos, other photos of the perpetrators. It was the same people, but at different stores trying to break in. Some shops were broken in, as you probably noticed, and we've tried contacting other agencies. So I'm your last option. Klein didn't need an answer, with the lady brushing her back, brushing the back of her hair in irritation. With how bad the damage was, other stores must have been desperate. And he only knew three other agencies this woman could think of calling. Klein could only shrug. That's fair. I'm only just getting started on this business after all. After all. What about the police? We've tried, but they're busy prepping as, as, as security for the MMA tournament. It doesn't help that our stores will be open, and we're afraid they'll come by again. She said as Klein put a chin on his, a hand on his chin and thought. Looking down at the papers, his grin turned to a frown as he looked through the shop's victims to see criminals. Oh, sorry. Looked through the shop's victim to these criminals. It didn't seem like other stores could do anything about it as well, choosing to find their own answers. Taking one last look at the photos, Klein observed the specific outfits they were wearing. Black jackets. Hold on. Okay. There he is. Black jackets, sweaters, helmets, masks. It was clear these guys wanted to stay hidden for obvious reasons. Vandalism is a crime, and he didn't want his new home being trashed by some low-life douchebags. No matter what their goals are, he would ground them. Ooh. How long will I be working with you, Miss... Miss Emma? Wow. Great name, great name. I'm sorry about not introducing myself before. Quickly getting up from her seat, she shook hands with Klein who grinned back. You'll be on duty for as long as we need you, preferably a few weeks when my cafe is closed. Your cafe? Why yes, Cafe Terminus. Oh. 
the newly named Miss Inma smiled as she said the name, her mood shifting as Klein shook her head once more. After the contract was signed, Klein waved her off as the owner of Cafe Terminus soon disappeared from sight. At the back of his head, Klein couldn't deny that it was surprisingly a good name. He hadn't heard of it before, but the name itself was something of a foreshadowing to the brother. Hmm. Substory. Weekend Waitress. Oof. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's all here. It's all here. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Let me just um look up something. Uh, I think it's on... No, not web novel. I think it's on Wattpad. <laughs> my entire story. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go on Wattpad and try and <laughs> log into my old account <laughs> and see if I can read you guys the entire story I made. Oh, my apologies, guys. I'm like so engrossed in my past now. <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong profile. Let's go to another one. Not this one, it was another one. <laughs> there you go. This is the one I'm looking for. Here you go. Ah yes, I remember this. It's my old nostalgic, my old nostalgic thing. I should change this to just chatting, you know? It would be pretty awkward if people came in like, oh, oh it is just chatting, okay. <laughs> Afternoon reading old fanfic vibes. <laughs> is subject to change for gaming stream. <laughs> huh. Huh, Akai Roses is reading fanfiction? Ah, yes. I remember this. <laughs> My old fanfic stuff. This is so weird going through it now, but like... Hey. 